Hey traders, it's 27 minutes past 1 p.m. here in Brisbane on Tuesday, the 28th of November, and I'm looking for a spar with soybean. Now, I want to take a look first at the daily and what caught my eyes, and then have a look at the supporting evidence from the higher time frame, but also what keeps me cautious around this potential fight. So this is the daily chart, and as we can see on the daily, we have a breakout level here. So if I zoom out a bit, we can see that the big pictures is to the downside, high, low, lower high, lower low, and a pullback to another lower high. So let's zoom back into this area. So I've got the breakout level here. We pushed from that level, pulled back to test it from above, and then made a higher high. So I've got that push, a second push. So a lot of buyers still sitting at that area. And as we can see, we came back to test that level once again. This is a more precise touch, and I like that a lot because that also mean that we're making a lower low over here. We pull back almost 100%, and this is another situation that I really like because the buyers were very strong. They came almost all the way up, but then got overwhelmed by the sellers, which were able to very quickly push the price down. So I like that scenario, and now we've got a little ping here off this level, and we're sitting just slightly above it. Now, this is a really big push and I'm looking for that compressions of price. So I'm looking for a potential another lower high here and another touch at that level. And it could also happen on the lower time frame. So if the buyers will not have enough power in them to even push slightly higher, and then the sellers will come back and pretty much nest above that level, that would also be a scenario that I would be very happy with. So let's take a look now on the higher time frame. So on the weekly, we can see that big picture. We're coming from an even more bigger picture downtrend. So from a high to a low, lower high, and another lower low, and a pullback, which we've seen previously on the daily chart. So we're looking quite bearish. Now, if we take a look on the monthly, though, one thing that I less like about the monthly is that this push, this latest predominant low, wasn't able to push below this low. And this area was an origin that pushed to a higher high. So that is one thing that bothered me about this potential fight. But I really like the fact that all my momentum indicators are pushing it to the downside. So let's go back into the daily and have a look at this fight plan. So what I'm looking for is these compressions of price on this breakout level. So it was the breakout level on the way up. And now I'm looking for it to be the breakout on the way down. So this black line is my offense area. Then I'll be looking to go with my point swing to this origin that pushed to this higher high, just a bit above this whole busy activity in and around the 1310. And for my knockout, I'm looking around the 1290. I don't want to go and break the previous low. I want to be able to come out before this strong activity that push from this area. So to summarize, I am after a fight with soybean. My offense area is going to be at the black line around the 1335 area, point swing around the 1310, that blue line, and the knockout in and around that 1290 area, this purple line of mine. Happy knockouts, everyone. Bye for now.